Today we're going to be talking about my Kraus setup right here. Looks good. The gauge pod right here looks awesome. But I kind of like the curve, the way, the way it's set up. Yeah, it looks really good. Yeah. When you get back from Milwaukee, you'll know when you drive that 900 miles. Yeah. All right. So um, today we're going to be talking about my Kraus setup right here. I've had it for some time right now. Put a good amount of miles on it so far. I really got to test it out when. Uh, I took the trip from New Jersey to Laconia for Laconia Bike Week. That was like the best way to kind of like get the full feel for it. Cause I just literally put the bars on, put everything else on the bike. And then I just took it for a long trip. Awesome way to break everything in. That was a six hour ride up to Laconia and then six hours down and plus a ton of riding that I did up there. Plus a ton of riding that I've just done locally with the bar setup ready. And I gotta tell you, I'm, I'm really happy so far with it. Um, as far as quality first, let's talk about quality. Amazing stuff, Kraus makes great stuff guys. It's just top of the line, made here in the US of A. Looks good. The gauge pod right here looks awesome. Um, the low bend bar, this is a low bend bar, it's a one and one eighth. I didn't really wanna go too high this time on my bar setup. I wanted something more, more comfortable. Um, let's pull out of here first. <laughs> Love the way this bike sounds. Like I was saying, I didn't really want to go too high. I wanted something that was going to be perfect for my statue, my height, my frame, my everything. So that's why I chose the 8 inch riser for it with the low bend. But what I'm starting to notice is that I kind of want it a little bit closer to me. Luckily, Kraus has like a, like a T-Rex uh, plate that you can add onto this and it brings it a little bit closer to you. So A, I might be doing that. Um, or I might do that and also switch out the low bend bar for a mid bend. Like, I really love the way this looks with the low bend. It's a nice, clean look. It feels great. But I want the, the bar setup to come a little bit closer to me. So I don't know if maybe just doing the mid bend might fix the situation for me. Or doing the mid bend plus the T-Rex plate. So what I want to do is basically for the next few months, I'm going to be taking a long trip right now. Uh, in two days, we're going to be riding out to Milwaukee from New Jersey. It's a 900 mile trip out there, about 13 hours. Um, so I want to do that trip, plus keep doing a little bit more riding. And by the time the fall time gets here, I guess I can make my, my decision. Because I could go on this trip and be like, you know what, it's fine. Or I could go and come back and be like, yeah, I definitely, I'm definitely going to need the plate or the mid bend just to, just to have a little adjustment. Finally, like the perfect, perfect, perfect fitment. It's always, when it comes to bars and risers, it's always like, I think the hardest part. Because everyone's different, everyone's built differently, different size arms, different length. Um, and whatever feedback you're gonna get from somebody, it's gonna, it might not pertain to you. That's why it's good sometimes that so many different people with different statue 
do these type of videos, these review videos. So hopefully someone out there with my type of build, you guys will kind of get a good reference of what I'm talking about and maybe what you're looking for. So I'm around 5'7", and as you can see here is my arms. I have like a slight bend. I kind of want to have a, 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 a bit more of a bend to my arms. Um, and just a little bit closer to me. I think with that, it, it'll it'll be perfect. Because right now it's really good. But with uh with having the bar just maybe like an inch closer to me, we'll just like solidify it. What we're gonna do, we're gonna give the bike to old school Jerry since he's riding right behind me. And he's gonna also give you guys his take on what he thinks about this bar and riser setup here. He is 6'2. So obviously two different people, different statue. And that way you also get to get his feedback on it as well. What do you think about the um, the bar setup? I like it. It's similar to the on the scrambler, like a kind of like a off-road type. Thing. Yeah. Yeah. You're comfortable like with a flat it. Flat track. Yeah. 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 So you're what? You're six three. You're six three. Mm -hmm. um, I know. I know. You already said you were cramped up because I mean, just the way of the low rider setup. It no, is. No, just my legs. Yeah. yeah. Um, but as far as the bar setup, it is oh, it. Like It, the bars seem high enough. Like my arms are a little down, but I don't want them too high because I got shoulder problems. Yeah. That's why I have problems with the eight hangers. Yeah. On my other bike. So this is good for you? Yeah. I mean, look, look at my arms. Not, you know, I'm sure you're more up like this, but. Yeah. You look good on there, man. I like it. Would you go higher? Because th these are uh, an eight-inch riser, so I'm yeah. not sure if you will go higher in it or not. Maybe an inch, not more than that. Okay. Yeah, and I like the low bend bar. You like the low bend? Yeah, I like. Okay. That. I mean, you could, like you said, you could keep these and just go with a mid bend. Yeah, yeah. But I kind of like the curve, the way the way it's set up. Yeah, it looks really good. Yeah, I, I like the way it's kind of like. I, I think I, a mid bend would be too. I was thinking later on maybe switching up to a um, a mid bend, but I just yeah, want to spend would more put time. You like here, I think. Yeah. Put you up and back. Yeah, yeah. That would be, see for me. I'd have like two T reps. Look at my arms, like. So so for me, I have, you know, yeah. I'm shorter than you. I mean, it might work for you. You got to see when you get back from Milwaukee. You'll know when you drive that 900 miles. Yeah. For sure. So, this um, gauge setup, I love it. You like that gauge setup? Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's easy to read. You don't have to like tilt forward to look at it or nothing. Good, good, good. The pipe's awesome. The way it's coloring. You like the sound? Love the sound. Dude, it's not. Did you hear me when I went through that under the overpass? Oh, it sounded so good. Well, always good uh, to get your take on everything. Old school Jerry in the building. <laughs> old school, old school, old school. <laughs>